Hello and welcome back to This Is The Police. Okay, I'm Clough and we're on day 8 I believe here. So we've got some new newspapers. City Treasury doles out $90,000 for Mayor's birthday, which is entirely ridiculous. I mean, the city shouldn't be paying for his birthday. Mysteri uh, mysterious Robespierre announces political ambitions. Six new restaurants to appear in city by year's end. I mean, not really anything bad there, really. Oh, also, I learned how to turn down the cutscenes. I didn't realise there was a separate audio option for turning down the cutscenes. Dr. Eleonora Waterbury. Mr. Boyd, this is a very simple test. I'll show you a card with an abstract image. You just look at them and tell me what you see. Oh, okay. So this is that um, psychic evaluation. Okay. A man taking a handful of tablets in a bar, two natives beating the drums. Flying severed head. Two. I mean, I see that. To be honest, uh, a man going back to his house. A butterfly. A man with the cloak for a face. Clock for a face. I don't see any of those things. I don't know what to put. A butterfly. Why not? A woman decorating a Christmas tree, a dancing girl, a blue alien raping a pig. <laughs> I'm tempted to put that one. A woman decorating a Christmas tree. A man giving a woman a Christmas ornament, a towel on a hill, a baby with a spider leg. Uh, a man giving a woman a Christmas ornament. Hmm, the woman dropping the Christmas ornament. An automobile accident, a tree that's growing human lungs. I mean, I don't see the automobile accident to be honest. <laughs> I, was, I see the woman dropping the Christmas ornament, but I suppose you could also have the tree growing the human lungs. Like this is the tree, that's the branch, it's the lung. I'm gonna put that one up. See what they see what they say. Pieces of Christmas ornament all over the floor, an ice cream cone, marching hammers. Okay, a piece of ornament all over the floor. floor. Man yelling at the woman. A chess rook. A man with a head of a rhinoceros. A chess rook. The woman slapping the man, an overturned truck. A huge hedgehog eating people instead of apples. <laughs> the woman slapping the man. Ooh, I don't want to put that. An octopus playing the piano. The woman falling over with the Christmas tree. A pile of autumn leaves. A woman in a worm skin coat. A woman falling over the Christmas tree. This is telling a horrible story. Thank you for your time, Mr. Boyd. I will inform you about the test results in the coming days. Brilliant. Oh, okay. I thought we were on day eight. Obviously not. Oh! Maybe I don't have to do day eight, maybe go straight to day nine. Shea Broom re-elected as free big general attorney. No black employees at City Hall, Mayor says accident. Major businessmen ready to invest in the future of the city. Excellent. I suppose that's not a bad thing. Ooh. While I was climbing up the stairs, I started to feel a little dizzy. Can I have the day off? No, that's not a good enough excuse. Oh, I have a stripe. I mean, Grant, you've been putting one in one heck of a performance. There we go. Start of the day. Let's go for this one. Gotta love the soundtrack of this game. I haven't actually played it in a few days, so it's kind of refreshing coming back to it. City Hall. A few months ago, an unregistered feminist organisation appeared in the free in Freeburg. Today they are holding their very first protest. As far as we know, the organisation is backed by foreign sponsors. And their goal is to get their people into important positions in City Hall. The protest may escalate into something more serious, and we need to show them who is in charge. Use batons and tear gas, even firearms if necessary. Let's show them what intimidation looks like. Up close and personal. I 
don't want to particularly do that. I'm going to turn down the audio one second. There we go. That's much more manageable. Tomorrow is the deadline to eliminate that gang. About 50 women are gathered in the park chanting, let us be successful. I don't think we'll need a swap, but I'm going to send quite a few good officers. God, I need more officers. I'm going to send Butch Jr. along with them. Ah, that'll, that'll do. Jesus, I'm so low on officers. Do I need to send... Oh, I need to send four officers. Do I need to send SWAT as well? Oh, I need to send SWAT, okay. Martin Stett. Jack, we have a problem. The chief prosecutor of Freeburg is a woman. And it seems she's on the side of the feminists. You might be walking into some serious legal uh, problems. We better play it safe and fake some evidence to shield you from any possible prosecution. I don't have any money. Evidence against Aaron Stovall. No, no. Okay. Um, Mr. Boyd, your psych is in good shape. My only concern is your stress levels. My research shows that Beethoven's music soothes and relaxes the nervous system. Nervous system. <laughs> Jesus. Excuse me. I recommend you invest in a bit of good old Ludwig van. It will help with any violent issues you won't be feeling. Okay. Let's have a look at the investigation because I want to get that gang. Okay, we've still got that investigation ongoing. I need Jin Yang. Oh shit, yeah, this is the actual one. Yeah, okay. Oh, 710 in progress. A dissatisfied client entered some law enforcement with a pistol and took several employees hostage and demanded a meeting with the firm's partners. These shyster Jews took me for a ride. They sucked up all my money and my son still went to jail. Okay. Send these two. I, I wish I could send more. It's kind of making me a bit nervous. I've got nobody. I might have to miss out on a crime or two. In fact, ooh, suppress the protest by force. No. Um, affairs. I want more. I want more personnel. Oh, I don't want City Hall. I want City Hall, sorry. One day, I've got one day to wait. Okay. Mafia assignment. Jack, we have something going down today at Rubino Rubinovich Casino at 12.40. We would want, wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think $8,000 should be enough for such a request. Okay, I'm going to listen to this one from, from Mr. Sand. That's it. What's the situation? What the fuck? Offender escaped. Officer dead? <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, fucking hell. She was really good. I just gave her a stripe. What the fuck? Okay, that's the thingy. A young woman set fire to the movie theater during the show and fled. Beasley, get on the case. Take Moser with you. I am pissed. Ooh, Jesus, that effect is so cool. Leave a mark. I can't even get someone new yet. I've got to wait till tomorrow. Shift A is seriously understaffed. I'm gonna have to get somebody new. I can't believe she died! A dealer at a casino called the police after a man entered the place carrying a grenade. <sighs> no, no, no. No, I'm not gonna let it happen. Go on, Stovall. I want, I want everyone good on this. I'm not having another grant. That's so bullshit. I can't believe she died. Okay. Oh, the investigation has started actually. I didn't read that. The incident occurred during the screening of the gym. Stranger than paradise. The screen is ruined and members of the audience suffered minor injuries in the panic, but fortunately no one was seriously hurt. 
Oh shit, I remember a girl with bright red hair. I saw her a ticket after the show started, although I usually don't do that, but she was really, really nice. I noticed a bottle in her hand, but I thought it was soda. I wouldn't think such a pretty young lady would come to the movies with anything hard. I sat in the last row. A few minutes after the film started, I heard someone enter the room and slam the door. I was going to say something because I don't like it when someone distracts me from Jaramushi's vision. Then I saw a flash of fire and a flaming bottle threw straight at the screen. When the screen is caught on fire, I thought it must be part of the show, you know. You know what I heard, that Jim Jarmusch guy is from a nut house. <laughs> when, the, when the fire started, I immediately started looking around for a way out, and then when I, that's when I spotted her, the red-headed fool. She ran away quick, there wasn't time to do anything. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's go. I'm not letting fucking sand get away with this. Oh. What's this? Mr. Boyd. Today we're installing a new slot machine called Super Magdalene, Super Magdalene 3. The last time we put in a new one, one of the bigger kids almost broke it the first day. It would be great if we could send us a couple of young men to get the kids under control. Sh sure, Butch Jr. and Van Dahl can go. I need more please. This has gotten real hard fucking real quick. Um, refuse. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, two of them fucking died. I've lost three officers in one day. Jack, we don't know why you did it, but we hope you had a good reason. Don't forget who your friends are. We don't want any more trouble. Fuck sake. Oh, I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Uh, I've only got stove all left. A pregnant girl called in a report on the suspicious gynecologist who she met in reception. The doctor was behaving very strangely and attempted to persuade the girl to have an abortion. Though she was already five months pregnant. Through streaming tears, she explained the doctor said that for only ten thousand dollars he would save me from the parasite inside my body. Go on, Stovall. At least this should be a bit of an easier job than the last one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this one went well. Everything went great, boss. In fact, it's been a while since we had that much fun. We'd be the hell to them for playing Hellfighter. Oh, nice. I got some extra cash. Three fucking officers. I can't believe it went that bad that quick. My God. Uh, get back quick, geezers. I need you. Housewife Takara Montez often complains to the police about her neighbours. They're constantly making a racket and often get into fights, always refusing to discuss things with their neighbours. She called the police again today after hearing loud bangs in the apartment along with loud screams. According to her, about six or seven people live in there. There we go. You two guys can go over and take a look. The doctor spots the police, grabs a scalpel, and boldly shouts, Come on, I'll release the souls from their filthy worlds. Hit him with a taser. Great, great Stovall. It's still got you. Fucking hell. I am so disappointed. Like, everyone was doing quite well. Oh, fuck. I just had that again. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Jack, we're about to bring in a large shipment of alcohol, but we've heard that our new partner likes to play tough. We need a couple of all your guys for insurance. Do I need to do this now? Can I not wait? I need to wait, matey boy. Jack, you swore an oath to serve the city. If you can't keep your promises, we won't keep ours. Fuck's sake. Sure, yeah, Stovall, go, go, go. What's this one? A call came in from a hotel occupant. She was concerned about the cries of a woman in an adjoining room. Sounds to me like someone is being raped. God damn it, man! I can't go and save the rape victim! Oh my god! Fuck's sake, man! This has gotten real deep, real quick! Arson, okay, at least we've got some new frames for that, I guess. 
So she came in, she threw that, and then she did that. Zoe Nezek, a student about a month ago, she un unsuccessfully applied for an Usher job at the last picture. So she bombed the place. The fuck? Yeah, I can't do that yet, mate. Come on, get this sorted. Oh, God damn it, can they make it back in time? Oh, did they do it? Yes! <laughs> I was so scared. Get back, quick, we can still get the rape fucking... Oh my god, I'm so scared that we were able to... No! You can't! No! You can't! I had 20 seconds left, that wasn't fair! Oh, that isn't fair! I feel awful! Each of your employees receive a weekly salary, the ones who are still alive anyway. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out, you dick! But if you bury the paper, you can pull in some money from any deceased officer's salary. So as long as they're alive and healthy on paper, say so he'll keep printing paperly healthy paychecks. No, you were a good officer. Good officer. I only I only knew you for a while. Keep you in the morgue. Fuck's sake, no, Stovall! You're my best officer! I've lost so many people. God damn it, man. That went awful. Anyway. <laughs> a new day. Rogers is responsible for Freeburg PD breakdown. Representative of Orthodox Church may appear in Freeburg. Mayor Rogers, I will bring order to the police station. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, fuck's sake, fuck's sake. That's all I can say, like... Oh my god, I don't think that day could have gone much worse. It went so well up to that point, and then he just tanked big time. It could not have gone much worse, I don't think. Let's, uh, let's get this guy on the go. Billamong. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of the Freebreak PD. We're cutting the department budget. Fuck you. You lose one job slot. Removing an occupied slot will automatically fire an employee. Fuck's sake. What's this? Oh yeah, I need to go and get that. Um, Ashiro and uh, Asano, you guys go. Send uh, Ashiro and Kochi in then. But I do want to send him in and SWAT. Okay, let's go. This is probably an awful idea, but... Police Academy. Uh, Michael Foxman was able to brilliantly pass all their exams. They've earned a boost. Great Foxman, great. I like you. God damn it, man. This is difficult. Linda Purdy is today a hero. Having pulled a drowning senator Wally Screen from the river, the municip the municipality on the senator's recommendation is decided to reward the outstanding officer. The ceremony is scheduled July twenty seventh, and the event will be open to the press as well as Mr. Green's family, who wish to personally thank the police. Make sure nothing unusual happens to this officer, so she will be able to attend the ceremony and receive a medal without complication. We'll do. Leaving work, Jack caught sight of a scarecrow with a dagger through its eye. The handle is engraved with the letter S. <laughs> Jesus. I need more officers. I need more officers desperately. Uh, he's quite old. Okay. I want um, Dave Hatton, shift A, and... Justice Vermilion Shift A. Let's go for it. Oh, what's this? Sometimes your officers will arrest, arrest only one or two criminals, but when you're taking down a whole group, it's better to bring a paddy wagon. A truly professional staff can cope without the need for special transport, but most officers would prefer a paddy wagon when the situation calls for it. Cool. I didn't know this was a thing. When the situation... Oh, okay. Too bad the department doesn't have the money for one. Thanks for telling me about it then. 
fuck's sake. An ice cream van that struck a schoolboy. The ambulance arrived quickly, but the boy was declared dead on the scene. The nearby residents are enraged and demand justice from the dry from the driver of the van. He currently is holed up inside the ambulance while the paramedics try to reason with the crowd. The situation is quickly spiralling out of control. Uh, Subaki, go for it. Fuck, I am... I'm actually distraught. Like, I am seriously... Did the SWAT die? Oh, no. Oh, shit. They've just... Yeah, of course, they never normally that. I thought because they disappeared, they died. Offender core. Excellent. Case closed. They get loads. I'm going to have to send someone else's lead investigator because they get a lot of upgrades and Beasley is... Well, Beasley's fucking 470. He's doing fucking fine for himself, isn't he? Whew. Because Jack's on black gangster hit one of our shots. It's too much for us to deal with this right now. Sure, you, you'll get price. Oh fuck, actually, will he die? Um, Austin, Samadi, and Robbins, go for it. Fuck, I hate working. I hate working for them. <gasps> Shit! Um, Yancy, Purdy, Asano, if I. Price! Go for it! Don't fuck it up, Price! <laughs> I can imagine they're just standing in front of the crowd and being like, Now, now, no need for violence, just because she's so old. Jack, we have something going down today at Courthouse at 6.30. We wouldn't want any... Whatever, I'll stay out of this one because you're obviously getting angry. Fuck, man. This is genuinely difficult, the decisions you have to make. Great. So the backup only gets plus five, but the actual... Okay, then, that's, that's fair enough. Let's see, what's this one? An elderly man called the police station reporting that terrible screams have been coming from the sawmill for over an hour. The hell's going on? What's a guy got to do to get a little sleep around here? You better go check it out. Well, to be honest, four slots. Right, um... And the Sano. Three officers. These lot are coming back, so we'll get a new, another fresh set of officers soon. Mr. Boyd, I manage a large fleet of vehicles and wanted to organise a workshop for my new drivers. They need to learn how to behave on the road, so your patrolman will never need to look twice at our cars. Please send three of your best officers. They'll ride all day with my people, explain the intricacies of traffic flow and police monitoring. I've heard about the problems your department faces, particularly your obsolete fleet of police vehicles. So in return, I would happily donate a paddy wagon. Yes, 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 yes. I need one. I am actually shocked with how real this game got. Like, how quickly it ramped up. Three officers died and all this other shit started happening. My God. The sawmill is surrounded by a nine foot fence and the gates are locked from the inside. Shouts can be heard from within. Break the gate open. A man is threatening a young boy with a circular sword, the man is screaming hysterically. Pounce on the criminal. <laughs> that was kind of lucky, I really thought that could go wrong. What we got here? An emergency call was received from an all night drug store. An, ad an addict is attempting to gain unlawful entry. He violently threatened a female pharmacist, demanding she opens the cabinet. Um, send you three and price hopefully we can we'll get we'll make price into a good officer yet chief we rode along and went over the basics with their empty-headed drivers we're done for the day meanwhile mr sand dropped off a brand new paddy wagon it's a nice piece of equipment too good for the idiots we'll be packing inside <laughs> i'm glad i got one can i not look at it or anything like that Um, I'll pay for a bit of, uh, training. Asano, I think you've earned it. Hi, sorry about that. I just got interrupted. Anyway, let's get back to it. 
report on the robbery. Offender court officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. That's what we like to see. Price is becoming not too bad. During a sentencing, a serial killer by the name of Albert Ramirez seized a gun from the holster of the court bailiff and after shooting several witnesses, barricaded himself inside the courtroom. A young stenographer has been taken hostage. Fuck, I need as many people as I can for this. Don't time out on me again, game. There we go. Good. And the Sano. Why can't I get the SWAT in there? Can you only get it once a day? Fuck! Okay, let's just go with all those police officers. I'm sure that'll be enough. Are you joking? While they were treating him, the man suddenly attacked one of the EMTs, shouting wi wildly about the global pharmaceutical conspiracy. The other peers now managed to escape and called the police. Oh, come on. What? Where are you three guys? Are you... Oh, no. The guys who went off. Fuck! You, oh, price, you're gonna have to go. <laughs> you're gonna have to pull off a miracle, Price. Oh my God! If Price does it, I'll give her a medal. No, I have, I have faith in you. Don't anyone die? Don't anyone die? Don't anyone die? <gasps> yes! Oh, get fucked! Ah, oh, thank Jesus Christ! <laughs> yes. Oh my god, now it's all up to Price. If Price can pull this off, this will make up for the disaster of the yesterday that we had. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. We got new frames. Okay, yeah, so what? He's in Facebook. Yeah. Oh, he's dragging restaurants. The gang must have an immediate buy from the necklace. Usually the restaurant is open, but the clock it was closed. Key to the restaurant, valuables are kept in the safe under the bar. So that means it's this one. Great. I don't have any officers to send. Oh, I have officers to send. Right, uh, Kochi and Shiro, you guys are good. I wish I could send a SWAT. Oh, well, we have backup if need be. The door to the apartment is locked from the inside, and unintelligible screams can be heard from within. Enter an adjoining apartment and climb over the balcony. The victim is bound and lying on the floor. The assailant is sitting on top of him, waving a syringe filled with an unknown substance, a bottle of bleaches on the floor nearby. Sir, we are on your side. Tell us about the conspiracy. The man jumps up, grabs some papers from the table. Everything is written down here. All the evidence you'll need. They created these med medications to control our minds. Well, the free big police will begin an investigation right away. Let's talk down at the station. Oh, <gasps> she fucking died! I'm not actually that quite kind of sad about that. I might steal the money. Oh shit, did I... Did I get involved in something that... They told me not to? The courthouse. Fuck. I've got to stop pissing off sand. Offender court. Excellent. Date closed. Right, mole is now a good investigator as well. In the day. Right. Okay. I'm going to end this episode here, because if I do another day, this episode will run really long. But anyway, <laughs> I can't believe how much of a disaster that day went. That was unbelievable. I never thought that it would be quite that bad. And some of the some of the crimes, man. Like, not being able to respond to that rape call. My god, that felt awful. Like, genuinely awful. This game's like fucking pulling on your emotional strings. Whew, anyway. This has been really fun. I'm really enjoying this. I can't wait to play more. So, I would really appreciate it if you'd like, comment, subscribe. I've said it many times before. 
but I'd highly recommend, I'd highly appreciate, sorry, comments, because I want to improve, I want to get better, you know, I am having a lot of fun making these videos, but, you know, I'm doing it for entertainment purposes, I'd like to make them as entertaining as possible, so, please, just leave a, leave a comment down below with, hopefully, constructive criticism, or you could just go, you're a dick, you dick, in the comments, or something like that, if you like, I mean, I can't really stop you, but anyway, Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.